gender differences in text messaging. An interesting study was described by Professor Simon Yates from Sheffield Hallam University in the UK. The study focused on the characteristics of text messages sent by men and women. The most interesting finding was the length and content of messages based on the gender of the sender and the recipient. Text messages were measured in characters. When measuring the lengths of text messages sent, it was clear that men sent shorter text messages than women did. The average length for text messages sent from men to men was 50 characters, while the average for women to women was 82 characters. I would argue that the gap between these numbers could be larger. In my personal experience, this is what most guys' text messages look like. While women's may look something more like this. However, an interesting thing happened in this study as well. They also took the average of text messages sent from men to women, and they were in fact more lengthy, with an average of 74 characters. Let's face it, this is not how you impress a woman. Men were more inclined to add substance to their text messages while texting women. Adversely, the average was taken for the length of text messages sent from women to men. To no surprise, the length of text messages stayed roughly the same, only decreasing slightly, with an average of 80 characters. Another interesting fact was message content. Males had more sarcasm in their text messages than women. Males also had more swear words in their text messages than women. In contrast, women had more support and affection in their text messages. In conclusion, men sent shorter messages than women. It is my opinion that men seem to be more poignant and conclusive, that their text messages are to the point. Women sent longer text messages, and this is because women are more social in their text messaging. They naturally like to nurture their relationships through communication. These differences should not be looked at as good or bad, better or worse, but rather noticing that each gender, both equally complex, communicates their thoughts, feelings, and emotions differently, and each should be supported equally.